In this lesson, I'll be going over how to complete virtual lab number two, the Vitaic cell. First, go to Jupiter. Under assignments, you're going to find the assignment label Vitaic cell lab or virtual lab number two. In that page, you can then download this Word document from Jupyter. Once you download it, you can then save it to your computer and rename the file as last main, first main, but take lab. The purpose of this is then once you're done with this lab, you can then submit it on Jupyter. Okay, afterwards. So for the remainder of the lesson, I'll be going over how to complete this lab. Okay, so there's two simulations in this lab. Alright, so whenever you see these filled blanks, notice when I hover my mouse towards it, it lights up. Okay, so that means you can en enter your responses. These are filled blanks. So here's for me, so you enter your main. In case you make a mistake or you want to edit your response, hover over the blank again, click on it, and you can change your response. So these are special fill in the blanks I designed so if you delete your response it should reset the fillable blank okay if you want you can change the color of your text so it's easier for you to see all right so now to complete the lab so this lab has two simulations with a bunch of questions and that's basically the whole lab Let's go to the first simulation. So in your browser, um, enter this website. It should look like this once you enter it. So uh, for the first part, you're going to go through the tabs, which are these things, and select the correct element. So for the left, you can select silver. For the right, you can select copper. Let me demonstrate how to do that. Metal, for the left, silver. And for your electrolyte solution, you can also click the silver. Right, copper, and copper. Okay, so once you select it, your correct um, elements, electrodes, and electrolytes, under the vote meter, you see on off switch, click the on button. Now you can see the simulation of your Vitaic cell working. Notice that the copper ions are being formed due to oxidation. The electrons go through the wires to the silver, which are being reduced. Silver ions, notice it's disappearing. It's being reduced by gaining the electrons. Okay, so this simulation does not last forever. Once it's done, you have to Turn this off to reset the simulation. Okay? Now, question one. Use the draw tab of the Word document and draw the direction of the electron flow. Basically, the draw tab's up here for your Word document. And then you're going to enter, uh, basically, pick one of these. So you want to pick a color that's not uh, black. So I'm going to pick green. You could change the color to your liking, right? And change the thickness if you want. So you can click it. And then you can start drawing. So draw the arrow to show the electron flow. That's it. Once you're done, you can click this or click the escape button on your keyboard to stop drawing. Okay. All right. Question two. You should be able to answer right from part one of the Vitaic cell video lesson, so PowerPoint number five. Question three, this is from the lab. So basically, you're just going to enter the number you see over here. So I'm going to quickly do it again just to show you what is the number. So the number is 0 0.46. So all you got to do is Click this and enter your spawn, 0 0.46. Okay, 
Question four, five, six, you should be able to answer based off PowerPoint number five, video lesson, okay? And question seven, you should be able to answer based off PowerPoint number five as well. So I already discussed, you know, temporarily why the silver ions disappear, is being reduced, and while copper ions is being formed, copper is being oxidized during the redox reaction. Eight and nine, you should be able to answer through PowerPoint number six, video lesson. And nine, 10, and 11 is from the half reaction PowerPoint, which is PowerPoint, I believe, three. Okay, now for part C. Now reverse the cell by placing the silver on the right and copper on the left. Write your observations. Signs of voltage is a spontaneous flow of electrons. Basically, compare and contrast the situations. Okay, so basically, what I'm asking you to do is now make the left side copper and the right side silver. So, are there any similarities or differences? So, basically, if you notice, copper is still being oxidized, silver is being reduced still, but notice that the voltage is not positive anymore, it's negative, right? So these are things that you can indicate in your responses. I'm only looking for a few sentences, not a lot. All right, but part D. So test all the combinations in the following table. Record the voltages and the flow of electrons. So basically, does it go from silver to copper or copper to silver? So write your answers here. Okay, basically fill in the table. Basically what you did for experiment one, right? So basically, just play around with this, right? So change the metal, change the solution. What's going to happen? What is the voltage? The direction of electrons. And question 13, complete the table, right? This one below, select two experiments from experiment two to six, right? So these experiments here, and write the two half reaction for each of the redox reaction. So basically write the half reaction for left cells, the left one, so these, and half cell for the right cell. So pick two, so write down which experiment number you pick. So you can pick four or five or six or three. Write it down and write the half reaction for each one. Okay, second simulation. Go to this website. So this is the simulation I showed you in the PowerPoint 6, part 2 of the Bataic cell. So now you're going to analyze this. So you can refresh the page to start the simulation again. Okay. So this is the magnifying glass where you can analyze what's going on, right? So you should have seen me do this for the PowerPoint lesson already, but you can click on it and analyze it yourself. Okay, and once you do that, you just got to answer these questions, these four questions. And basically, if you watch the video lesson on PowerPoint 6, these questions are addressed there, the answer there on the PowerPoint. Okay, and for the summary question, it's just six in general. So basically, does copper two plus react with silver? So these questions are very similar. These are actually from the regions. So just use table J and answer these on your own. So I will answer a similar one on PowerPoint six as a multiple choice question. So just uh, rewatch the video in case you don't know how to do it. State the purpose of the salt bridge. So again, on the PowerPoint, and I want you to think about why did batteries die eventually. So think about what you've seen here. All right? This does not go on forever. Think about why that's the case. All right? So I will address that question in PowerPoint 7. All right? So why did batteries die eventually? So this concludes the entire lab. This lab should not take long to finish. Again, once you complete the lab, go to Jupiter and submit it.